I will talk about substances that play in the psychedelic spectrum because these are the ones I know a bit about, as I told you. <laughs> uh, cocaine, alcohol, opium and all opium related drugs have all interesting stories of their own, but I think when we talk about modern ways to explore our minds and consciousness to get access to what makes us tick, psychedelics are the stuff we should examine more precisely. The next uh, section of my talk I had entitled Is the Internet Dead? That follows the quote, um, that's a quote of a text by Hito Steil. Um, this text she actually already wrote in 2013. And what that means is that um, the internet is dead in the sense that we have given up this idea of a virtual realm. Also, die beiden gehören zu Sophie Dilemma. Ja, es ist ja alle weibliche Nacktszene und danach war sie einfach absolut verrufen als Hedi Lama und äh, wurde beworben als schönste Frau der Welt. Aber ähm, das Besondere an ihr ist eigentlich, sie hätte weniger zu MGM gehört als ins MIT. Weil sie war in erster Ehe verheiratet mit einem österreichischen Waffenfabrikanten. Sein Name war der Patronenmandel. Er war schrecklich, er war Faschist, er war Kontrollfreak, sie hatte kein schönes Leben bei ihm, aber es gab Dinnerpartys und auf diesen Dinnerpartys <lacht> kamen auch alle anderen Waffenfabrikanten vorbei und sie hatte in dieser Zeit eine Menge gelernt darüber, wie zum Beispiel Funkbomben funktionieren. Es war mitten im Zweiten Weltkrieg oder kurz davor und ähm, sie hat den, Tritt, äh, den Mandel... Um, has come to a point where it's not working properly foster and drive uh, market uh, capitalism and consumer capitalism as it did during the 20th century. So would, what would your take be on the suspicion and uh, the thesis that we've already reached peak individualism and now it's going down and we see some But symptoms? I, have you ever believed in individualism? I've never Well, I think that was the motor behind. Wasn't it the motor be, Wasn't individualism the motor behind fashion, promising everyone that if you, in paradox, of course, if you uh, uh, comply to fashion, then you can be, you can express yourself. Yeah, but this was the stupidest thing ever said. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I never thought how anybody could ever think that. I mean, if Jill Sanders, I remember a famous uh, slogan by Jill Sanders. Uh, be yourself, right? But hello, I mean, she sells this thing uh, like 2,000 times, yeah? Uh, that's a, a, a totally bizarre remark to say, be yourself. When, I mean, I would compare fashion with, uh, with uh, structuralism. Fashion is uh, the language and style is your parole. So it is your, your individualized expression of a code you have to know. Stellen wir uns vor, wie der Hamburger Bahnhof in Stücke fließt, die neue Nationalgalerie, das Museum of Modern Art, das Centre Pompidou und dazu tausende von Galerien, in denen langweilige, langweilige Galeristen langweiligen Kunden langweilige Kunst verkaufen. Am besten wäre es, alles gleichzeitig explodieren zu lassen und die Sprengungen per Satellit auf eine etwa 500 x 1000 Meter große Monitorwand auf den Matterhorn zu übertragen. Ein Fest der Sinne. Ja. 
ourselves very well in it. You know, uh, Foucault analyzed Jeremy Bentham's panopticon, that circular prison with the cells on the outside and the central tower from which everybody can be observed all the time. And I believe we're still living in that panopticon, but the cell doors are open and we're refusing to leave. So, is there such a thing as an unenlightened modernity? Yes, I think there definitely is. And one thing that that calls into question, and here's me speaking not so much as somebody who's alive today, but who's a historian today, is um, when I look at you in the audience, most of you, if not all of you, have grown up in, unless you come from somewhere else, in democratic states, in stable, wealthy democratic states. And if you've done that, there's a certain precondition, there's a certain tendency to think that it's really the natural way society is. You know, this is a state of nature, this is just wrong. We live in democracies, we're liberal people, we're vaguely capitalist, and that's perhaps not such a bad thing as many people say. I believe that for pluralist societies, capitalism happens to be the best organizing principle we've found so far. The ideal of a society is certainly socialist, but then you need everybody convinced to an equal degree that this is a good thing. If you have a genuinely pluralist society in which people have completely different goals for their lives, then the rule-based behavior induced by a market is quite a valuable thing. You only have to think, are we there for the market or is the market there for us? And we haven't quite finished that. The history of socialism doesn't seem to have verified the traditional hypothesis of the benefits of common property. Yeah, there's no discussion about this. But nevertheless, it absolutely stays true that private property of means of production impedes democratic deliberation of social problems. We all feel the frustration caused by the unlimited power of transnational companies, for example. We all observe that global market competition constitutes an enormous obstacle for the solution of problems as, such as climate change, inequality or missing health care. As long as private, uh, profit interests of the few weigh more than the common interests of the many, this was also a slogan of Jeremy Corbyn, uh, for the many instead of for the few, uh, as long as profit interests of the few weigh more than common interests, there are no possible solutions for the problems of, humi of uh, humanity. Uh, community-based architecture where you can say this is actually a way to the future being very optimistic as we architects are. This uh, is one of the three examples I'm going to show by Alejandro Arena, who won the Pritzker Prize last year in Chile, who designed social housing, he called it incremental houses. What lies there in the trunk is only known to me, but no light shaving kit, the bristles loosened by hand, another one fractured straps, also is content unnamed, the soap. Yeah, here. half an hour coffee break. <laughs>